Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Tartar, and in this video I want to discuss all type of respawns and spawns in game, including enemies, loose world items, containers, plants, flowers, whatever you call it, and we'll be analyzing this topic. Uh, first, I wanted to include like all my research and proof of how stuff is happening, but it happened to be an insanely long process and the video will have like 45 minutes. Uh, therefore, I decided to minimize it and in some aspect you will need to just trust my word or test it yourself. But I will try to show you the most important stuff and explain it how everything works. Because I search the internet, I search Google, I search YouTube and there is so much misinformation and like no one have it right. At least I didn't found a one person that will actually tell you the correct information in all those topics. Uh, mostly they sometimes close or they are talking about stuff they have totally no idea. Then let's go to the point. Uh, enemies first. Like as you see, I clear this place. There is no ghouls. They all dead. And uh, for enemies, in most situations, the respawn time is ten minutes. Then. There are some other uh, nuances to that, but respawn time on the server, after you kill the enemy, it's 10 minutes before he can get back up. Uh, exceptions uh, will be the fissures. There is 10 minutes as well, but exceptions for the fissure is that they respawn enemies uh, regardless if new player joining the area or not. Enemies like ghouls, it's already past 10 minutes, as, and as you can see, there is no ghouls in here. Then new player need to enter the area. But there is one more inform important information. Like me sitting in here, like now, looking at this spawn and sitting inside the golf club, even if someone new will enter the area, I will prevent ghouls from spawning. And that's usually not what you want to achieve. Uh, just to prove it, uh, I will log in with MeetC account and I will show you what will happen. Uh, I mean, that nothing will happen. And as you can see, MeetC is here and there is no ghouls. Nothing happened and 10 minutes is passed because I'm sitting in this spot and I'm blocking the spawns for the entire golf club. If it happened and you block the spawns just because you are sitting in the area when someone else is joining the area, someone new or someone who log, log out and log back in into the server, then those spawns are automatically back on 10 minutes cooldown. Then from the moment you block it from someone else trying to respawn them, they back on 10 minutes cooldown. And you can prevent it from happening. You can prevent it from happening by just crouching. You go hidden and therefore you are not blocking the respawns anymore. Or you can just vacate the area, that will work even better. And now as you can see, all the ghouls are back. It's like a magic. Just because Mitzi logged in into the area of the golf club. Ghouls are back. It works, you just need to disappear from the map. When you crouch, you are not showing on the map and therefore you are not considered as sitting in here. And the good effect of that, as you can see, all those ghouls are spawning as max level, as my level is taken into consideration when spawning those ghouls. If you are do it by yourself and log out from the golf club, log back in, even though you are high level, you will spawn, most likely on private server, you will spawn level 9 ghouls. And why that is happening? It's because, for whatever reason, when you are freshly loading on the map, the game will load you in. But your level, your actual level, is level 1 for the first couple of seconds. And this level 1 will be used to determine what's level, what level of ghouls should be spawned. And that's not good, that's not what you want. Uh, then you can just crouch and let your friend go out and respawn. Or if you do it yourself, then make sure that you go to the different area, like let's say in train station and then fast travel back. You just give the game time to register what's your level and spawn appropriate ghouls rather than spawning them all at level 9 for you. Uh, then that's about enemies and I think it's uh, enough about enemies. Now all the loose items. Uh, loose items that includes what includes everything that's lying around like those plates forks newspapers bottles uh, food plants uh, Everything that are basically loose items plus we have containers those two are a little bit different 
and similar in the same time, but I will explain exactly how it works. Okay, let's say we'll take, we'll loot this wood pile. We'll loot this container and this weapon and a lot of more stuff. I will loot basically everything that's in the golf club and I will explain why. Because there are two things that are happening. The first one, the server will register that area was looted. And on this server, those items will be put on very long cooldown. I don't know exactly how long, but we are talking about hours, not minutes. And I never had patience to test it. I was waiting once, like, think over an hour, and I wasn't able to respawn any. Then it's two hours or more. I think more than two hours. Then the server will register all stuff that I'm picking up, and the list that server can handle, it's very long. But there is other list. There is list that my game safe will handle. And this list, the other list, is only 250 items long, 255 items long. Therefore, after looting this place, after I pick up more than 255 items, the first items that are on the list will already be gone. Basically, will not be safe. The game will have no idea that I pick up those first items after I log into a new world. And that's very important information because it's how game determine what to spawn. And there is a clear distinction here as well. Uh, spawns and respawns. Those are two different things. Like, you cannot respawn those items in the world for hours. But if I join a new world that wasn't looted before, then uh, respawn is not applying. What's applying, it's spawn for the items. Because every area, don't know if you noticed that, but every area in this game is actually empty unless someone enters it. And when someone enters the, the area for the first time on the server, he triggers the spawns. And those spawns appear. They are rendered in this moment when someone enters the area. And what you should know about that. The spawns can be triggered every 10 minutes, unlike the respawns. The respawns have hours long cooldown, but spawns themselves uh, are triggered by new players and can be triggered every 10 minutes entering the area. And that's important because some of the items have limited chance to spawn. Like usually the aid. Aid will be limited. And plants and bubble heads and magazines and, and more. Uh, some of the more rare stuff has limited chance to spawn other than a fixed one. Like a lot of this uh, basic stuff like those golf clubs and golf balls, those are fixed spawns. They will always try to spawn as long as they not on your recent pick up list on this 255 items recently picked up. Those stuff, common stuff spawns always. At least it tries to spawn. Unless it's on your list, what I said, then it will not. And I'm doing my best to explain it in as easy manner as possible, but topic is not very easy. I agree with that. Topic is not very easy. And I'm looting all this place uh, to show you exactly how it works uh, when we load onto the fresh world. As I think it will help. I'm trying to make it short, but in the same time, I'm trying to explain everything. And even though 255 seems like a very long list, it's actually not. It's not as much. Like in the golf club, golf club itself, there is way more than 255 items. I think if you pick up everything, you will hit 255 just by clearing the upper floors. And there is way more than 255 items. And it all counts. All the containers, oh, like this uh, buff out. Stuff like that, it's a chance-based spawn. It's not 100% chance spawn. Oh, two legendaries in here. And container, regardless of how many items is inside, count as one interaction. Like one item pick up. Regardless how much is in the container, it counts as one. Loose items count all separately. Like every single loose item is one. And no magazine this time, you see? It's, there can be a magazine in this spot, but it's not in here now. 
because magazine, bubblehead, this stuff have only chance to spawn. Uh, the same with cap stashes. Then they only have chance to spawn, but they do follow the same rules uh, for what is inside. But keep in mind, the same server, it's different story. Because as long as I'm on this server, all those items I pick up, it will not get back in here for hours. Different server have a chance to spawn them. Oh, and important to know, flowers count as items for your 255 recent list as well. Okay, here we are, different private server, and I'm logging in just now, and I logged in straight into the server, which mean that ghouls will be low level. Where are they? Level 9. You can see that, they are level 9. And what's important now? As I clear the golf club from basically like all the items, then you see, it's back. Oh, and Nuka Sherry is another example with a chance to spawn, not guarantee one. But let's look at the first table. The weapon is back, and the ammo box is full again, because I pick enough of different stuff. But in the same time, it's not like there will be everything back in the, this in this golf club. You see, the stuff that I pick up more recently, like, all those outfits are not in here. They didn't spawn, because they are on 255 recent spawns list. Those tables are all empty, because I picked it up recently. Then this is empty. But the stuff that was farther than 255 back, like all those tables, stuff is back. All this junk is back. Recipe, everything. Everything is back, including the ammo box, that's a container, and wood pile. I can loot it again. Oh, and if we are here, traps. Uh, can chimps actually count as a traps, and therefore there are several sites only. They they not tracked, but your 255 recent list. Then if you pick it up and you log into the fresh servers, those traps will be always back. They will be always here. Regardless, if you just pick up those canchims and nothing else, you can keep hopping and those canchims will be appearing on every fresh server. And last time there was no bubble head in here. And now we have a bubble head in here. Because this stuff have a chance to spawn. Same like cap stashes. Therefore, if you pick up a lot of random stuff, you can be sure that whenever you go, you will be able to find more stuff. And there is a bubble head, I will take it. Let's see if magazine spawned. And magazine didn't spawn. Yeah, it's not too high chance for this stuff to spawn, but every 10 minutes, if someone else will enter the area, there is a chance that this magazine will appear in here. Although, there is no chance now, for a couple hours, that there will be on this server bubble hat again, because I pick it up. Therefore, it was removed from the server, and it's on a very long respawn cooldown. And the magazine, because it did not spawn, it's on the spawn cooldown, which means every 10 minutes spawn can be re-triggered, unlike respawn, that is on very long cooldown. I hope it helps with this topic. And yes, if someone else will enter this area, let's say I came back on this server, and someone else will be here, and he will trigger spawns of this junk, then it will appear for me, even though it is on my recent list, and cannot spawn for me. If this will spawn for someone else, then I will be able to see it and pick it up. Now about flowers and plants. Those are a little bit weird. Oh, flowers are back, but this time they saved correctly. Okay, I'm not exactly sure why sometimes it happened like that. As you can see, flowers are back, but I cannot pick them up. Yeah, then flowers are really, really weird. Last time I was able to pick them up, this time I'm not able to pick them up. Then yeah, flowers are really, really weird stuff and they per character instance. Then if someone else pick up those flowers, you can still pick up your flowers, like everyone can pick up the same flower. But yeah, I will not dig, dig deeper into the flowers and plants. Basically, they should be on your recent list and they should work exactly like that. They should not, I should not be able to pick them up, but sometimes I'm able to pick them up. At this, at this moment, they're working as intended, but okay. Uh, let's go back in here. You see that? Because Mitzi spawn 
in the golf club first, this stuff is back. Even though I'm not able to spawn it, it's back in here. I didn't spawn it, but it's back in here. Just a side note, if I will load into the golf club before Mitzi, this stuff in here will not spawn for either me or Mitzi. It will be on 10 minute cooldown to trigger a spawns again. And then if Mitzi will enter after 10 minutes, she will spawn this stuff because it's not on her recent list, but it's on my recent list and I'm not able to trigger those spawns. But I can pick it up. Someone else spawn it and someone else will not pick it up. I can pick it up. Okay, there was a lot of stuff. I will try to give you a quick summary. Very short how this works. Enemies, we have two types of spawns. Fissure side spawns and everything else. Fissure side spawns spawn enemies every 10 minutes when someone enters the area, regardless if it's the new person or if I will, let's say, clear the fissure site, I will go, clear ghouls in here, after 10 minutes I go back to the fissure site, enemies will be back in there, even though I do not log out. In case of other locations, like golf club, I will clear the area, I will wait 10 minutes from when I kill the last ghoul, I will log out, I will log back in, and ghouls will be back. Although, the exception, if someone will be standing inside the golf club or very close to the golf club, then those spawns will be blocked. And even though I log out, I log back in, ghouls will not spawn, and they will go into another 10 minutes cooldown. I will need to wait another 10 minutes to try and respawn them again. But if the person inside the golf club will be crouching, then ghouls will spawn normally. That's important to know. And if this person will be high level, the ghouls will spawn as high level. If you are the only person on the server and you want to respawn the ghouls and you want them to be high level, fast travel away, log out, log back in, give it a second, wait a little bit at White Spring train station until the game and server we actually correctly read what's your level, then fast travel into the golf club and ghouls will be spawning as max level. Now about all the loose items that can spawn, like bowls, spoons, uh, cup stashes, containers included, flowers, everything else. There is one, only one list that game saves for you. The recent list of 255 interactions. There is this huge misconception that are separate lists for containers and special stuff and loose items. No, there is only one list that will be used to determine what will spawn when you enter the location, like in this example, golf club. And keep in mind, locations are always totally empty until the player comes into area. Then his recent list is used to determine if everything should spawn or if some stuff should be excluded for, from spawning. I hope it's clear. And it includes containers. Even though containers are character bound, which means everyone can loot them, then the same rules, from my perspective, it's exactly the same rules apply. If there is more people, then his recent list will be used to determine if he will be able to see if there is anything inside the containers, unlike the loose items that are visible for everyone. Regardless who spawned them, everyone can pick them up, and who's first, he will get it. And all those rules applies to rare items like plants, recipes, cup stashes, bubble heads, magazines, to everything. Although those rare items have only limited chance to spawn. It's not a guarantee spawn. There's something like around 20% chance that this item will appear and this chance will be rolled back again every time, every 10 minutes someone else enters the area. Cannot be triggered more often than every 10 minutes. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have questions, I will do my best to answer them in the comments, although I'm expecting that there will be a lot of questions and possibly I will not be able to answer them all, but I will try to answer the unique questions Then just scroll if I already answered similar question if you have one first and then ask your questions. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.